Um, what's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into King and Lena pregnant, expecting third child. Corey reacts to Boogie allegedly cheating on Carmen. Let's get it. So it appears that Lena and King may be expecting their third child. Hey, y'all. I know you guys are gonna talk to you. I feel like Lena, why do you have a pregnancy test in your hand and you just had a baby? Sorry. I'm expecting yeah. their third child. Yo. I know you guys are gonna talk to you. I feel like Lena, why do you have a pregnancy test in your hand and you just had a baby nine months ago and you keep talking about your body and how you want to lose weight? You just, you just had a baby and you say you don't want more kids, but y'all, I just be out here risking my life and that shit is just too. <laughs> but on a serious note, I know you guys are also gonna be like, Lena, why don't you just get on birth control? Birth control and me don't go together. We do not go together. Birth control and me make me very depressed and very hungry. Then you guys will be like, Lena, why don't you just tie your tooth? Why would you fall I down there like that? I don't want to tie my tooth. I'm only 24 years old. I'm afraid of surgery. And once you tie your tooth, there's no going back. But baby, I really don't want more kids. And I hope that this pregnancy test is negative. Also, I got this pregnancy test in Thailand. So let's hope it works like an American one. <laughs> I just realized that you can see the stain on my shirt. That is, that's just not it. That's super ratchet. But anyways, this this is my life. This is my luck. I promise you, I really am not trying to pop off no more babies. And I think, God, please let this be negative. If this is negative. I promise, I will do better. I'll do better. I have to do better. Tell me y'all that shit is just too dang good. So now some comments read. Oh I my God, King Meat, you're just so good. Jesus Christ, King, wrap it up or something. Wondering when you kept saying you sick. Sounds like King need to work on that pullout game. Another okay. person stated, no, nah, I think you love being pregnant. And Lena responds with, my mind telling me no, but my body telling me yes. Another person asks, so is it positive? And Lena says, I haven't took it yet. So congratulations to King and Lena. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey and his girlfriend, Danny. Now you guys know Corey has had things to say about black women in the past. So people were a bit <coughs> shocked that he's been dating black women. But Corey went on to Twitter and stated, going black and not going back. <laughs> Today I reported on how Boogie's ex-girlfriend apparently may still be living I'm sorry, with him. Hold on, yeah. Well, Corey has responded to all that. I'm on here taking pictures of screenshots and shit. Black and not going back. Now, yesterday I reported on how Boogie's ex-girlfriend apparently... One more time. One more time. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I, I sure appreciate it. Okay. Black and not going back. Now, yesterday I reported on how Boogie's ex girlfriend apparently may still be living with him. <laughs> well, Corey has responded to all that by stating when everything unfolds to stay on that side. Now, people are stating that Carmen and Boogie's relationship is all just PR and for promo. Stay on that side. Listen, when all this shit unfold, I swear to God, stay on that side. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, <laughs> of course, Corey went on to TikTok Live to speak more about the situation. Really, him telling y'all, I can talk about some. I got, I got, I can't talk about that. No, they, they, they chill, bro. Just chill. Why y'all be so caught up with my ex? Like y'all be more focused on that shit than me. I be seeing y'all in the comments and shit. I mean, I know y'all fans. I know y'all fans and shit, but bro. God damn, y'all be on that. What the hell wrong with y'all? <laughs> what the fuck? I got a whole girl, bro. Like y'all be so caught on my head, but it be ridiculous. Like that's an ex for a reason. It's an example of what not to get to get no more. <laughs> what the fuck is? I don't want to be reminded about no goddamn example, man. Leave that boy's so happy, y'all. So happy. Alone. I get it. I went through that shit already. Leave the fuck alone. Y'all be tweaking. The fuck. Anyways, but uh, I'm just here for some tea. The tea is at the fucking stove. Why broke people love tea? That's all y'all be worried about, tea. Like, that shit really feed y'all. That shit really just, that shit fuel y'all tank, huh? Drama, messy shit, tea. Damn, bitch, ask for some game, some knowledge, some information, or something. Y'all motherfuckers even wanna talk about drama, low vibration shit, shit that don't matter. Damn, I can't deal with y'all people. Y'all motherfuckers weird. God damn. I, but we, but what a, <laughs> what a, Corey, what? your ass keep going live talking to the low vibrations. Crazy. What a fucking what a what a what a real people because y'all are not real. So how many bottles of oil? <laughs> Bro, y'all leave that man alone, man. Y'all leave that man alone. Y'all fuck with Diddy for man. That man wild though. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I, I ain't never seen nothing like it before. Dead ass. Bitch called me Diddy. That crazy. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I can't never get over that one, boy. Bitch called me Diddy. <laughs> Ah, uh, anything for a viral moment, bro. I swear to God, dog. Motherfucker seen that man trending. Just, just call that nigga Diddy. 
Oh shit. I fuck with it though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, dance the party y'all. Y'all are funny as hell, boy. I be down. That shit funny as hell. I'm obsessed. The only thing I'm obsessed with is getting this motherfucking moolah and living my best life, baby girl. Something you probably can't do right now. So you need to understand the two different um definitions of obsessed. You know what I mean? Cause no. But yeah, bro. Like, I right. who who sending me these gifts? Eh, man, I'm talking about man, real nigga. Buy me lunch. So, my first time. Call him Diddy Core. I mean, call him Core Diddy is crazy, though. I'm going to I agree. Though, believe it or not. <clears throat> one thing I love about this girl, bro. I finally got, man, I finally get to travel about the country, bro. This shit been so fucking fun. Like, Y'all understand, like, I wasted so many years of my life not traveling out the country, but I be sitting back just thinking about it. I be so goddamn mad, boy. Oh, my real niggas. It's there. over. It's over now. Just enjoy your life. But I be so fucking mad. Bro. I, like, <clears throat> I could have been doing this shit. I could have been traveling. I could have, like, bro. But you know how that shit go. You know, you know, you sacrifice, bro. You got to sacrifice. Sometimes you sacrifice, you sacrifice for the wrong motherfuckers. You waste time. Time that you can't get back. No doubt. Man, he said me right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, say, if you go through that, boy, I feel sorry for you, boy. On God. For all my up and coming content creators. Understand this, like I just said before I interrupted. You are in control of the narrative. Now I ain't gonna hold you, be with you. It gonna be situations that go hit you, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what type of type of content you're doing though. I always like figure out your lane and stay in your fucking lane because yeah. But when you control the narrative, what I mean by that is this right here, right? <clears throat> you can put out content and you gotta be creative. And it's some deep ass knowledge. Excuse me. Oh yeah, in my head. You gotta know how to play with people emotional side. You feel me? And like playing with people's emotions aside is what attract them to your content because you're <laughs> tapping into their emotional state. And don't be so weak for all the content creators nowadays. Like y'all gotta understand something. We done ran it up already. We already did the basic content. We done did that shit already. We done did that and made that go viral. I said, nice. It's a new, it's a new lanes, new levels. You gotta really be creative, bro. And I feel like a lot of y'all be scared of a lot of the backlash or a lot of the hate that you will receive. But let me ask y'all a question real quick. Do y'all care about hate or do y'all care about your bank account? Which one y'all care about? Do you care about having a thousand haters or you care about having a million dollars in your bank account? Listen to him. I would sit on my balcony and look at a thousand people brother hate on me and knowing that I'm sitting in my balcony in a big ass match and looking at these motherfuckers out there in the dirt while they hating and shit because they don't understand the content that I'm putting out. I'm putting this content out to entertain. You're going to entertain people regardless. You're going to entertain the good, the support, but you got to also entertain the haters. You feel me? I understand the importance of haters. This is the best advice I can give to all content creators because this is what goes so far over people's heads. Understand how to entertain your supporters and how to entertain your haters. It, it, it plays a part, you feel me? Because understand this here. Like I told, like I told my guy, I say, look, you gotta understand something when you're doing content. And content in either way. Your haters are your confused supporters. That ass. Yo, so the people that fuck with you, that rock with you, they go be there. They, you go see that. They go fuck with you. You feel me? They go support you. So you don't gotta force anybody that actually fuck with you to support you. When you gotta force people to fuck with you, they ain't for you. You feel me? So understand the difference between your haters and your supporters. You go put out the content that you put out regardless. They fucking with it, man. Y'all, I be trying to teach people this game, bro. You gotta, man. One thing I learned how to do, bro, is how to make a lot of money off haters. And I know how to make my haters make me more money and bring me more support, bring me more views, all of that. You feel me? It's just very important on how to do that because you're going to receive it. But if you don't know how to control it. This shit, nigga, boy. <laughs> he just be chatting and he would chat 100 miles a minute. Golly, what Chrissy say? <clears throat> like he got all 32 at the top. Chrissy, come here. Come here. Take your ass over there to that damn corner. <laughs> Stop. You gonna lose. You gonna end up letting these folks wear you out. You gonna end up letting these folks make you wanna give up whatever you're doing because you feel like you don't got no support, all that type of shit. That is support. You need to understand how to control the support, control the narrative. Teach yourself how to what? How to be a dad. You bitches just love typing shit, huh? <laughs> You always just love, you always just love typing shit, huh? You read that coming, it must have felt good. You must have put somebody out when you read that bit. Ugh. Get back. <laughs> like, that be so lame. Uh, yeah, that be lame as hell. I be want to see it. You know, you know, you know one thing I really be want, bro? I swear to God, this is something I always want to do, but out of all the years I've been successful, I haven't came across it yet. I really be want to see some of these people in real life that be with that weird shit on the internet. That be acting weird coming to them. I be really want to see these people in real life. Like, I want to just meet you in real life. I want to see how y'all would act if I seen y'all in person. I just have to walk up on y'all one day. 
<clears throat> he get real offended by his um uh, when they say something regarding his sons. I um I hope he they they figure this out for him to see them boys so we can see if he really gonna be about their life. And I'm talking about half full halftime and she full halftime. See how that go. But I don't know if I don't know how this about to go because why they ain't divorced yet? Why he ain't got the kids yet? Like, what's going on? But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.